Okay, y'all, it's Mr. Jared. Today we're going to be going over construction drawings. Our objective for today is identify and describe the purpose of the five basic construction drawing components. Our trade terms are title block, scale, drawing area, border, legend. Let's get started. Okay, before we start doing anything, we got to know what are construction drawings. What are we looking at? Now, the definition by the book says, construction drawings are architectural or working drawings used to represent a structure or a system. Now, looking at this picture, you see, what is it? Right here, we have a living room, family room, study, kitchen. Now, let's break this down even more. Okay. Um, most construction drawings are laid out in a fairly standardized format. This section describes the five parts of construction drawings. First, we're going to talk about the title block. This is the title block right here. Then we're going to talk about the border. This is the border going around. Then we have our drawing area. This would be considered the drawing area. We have our revision block. This is the revision block right here. Then we have our legend. Uh, we're going to use this as our legend right here. This is our legend, but usually it's a bigger block and it tells you what the symbols mean. First thing you want to look for when you're looking at a set of drawings is you want to look for the title block. That gives the most information about the project. Different companies put diff different information in the title block. This is the title block. You want to look for the company logo. This would be the company's logo right here. You want to look for the sheet tile title. This identifies the project right here. So this project number would be 1420. You want to look for the date. The date on this one right here is March 31st, 2016. Um, that's the date the drawing was checked and ready for seal and ready to start construction. You want to look for drawn by. Who was these drawings drawn by? Uh, we got right here, right here, right here. Juliet Kozak, the architect. Thank you for the set of drawings, by the way. Um, we also want to look for the drawing number. This number is the code that's assigned to this project. Then we want to look for the scale. The scale is the ratio of the size the object is drawn to its actual size. So this scale would, right here would be for every quarter inch that you measure equals one foot. Let me show you. Let me go down a little bit so you can see. So for every quarter inch that we measure equals one foot. Okay, so let's recap this again. We have our company logo, which is at the very top. We have our sheet title, which is right here. We have our date. Uh, let me zoom in on it. Right there. We have drawn by architect right here. This is all the information for the architect. We have our drawing number, which is right here in the bottom corner. Let me try to get it down right there. And then we have our scale. Our scale for this drawing is for every quarter inch that we measure with the ruler or architect scale, it equals one foot. Next, we're going to talk about our border. It's a clear area approximately of a half inch around the edge of the drawing that is there so everything in the drawing can be printed or reproduced on printing machines with no loss of information. Okay. So this is our border going around. This is the border going around. We have our title block right here and this is our border going around. The drawing area. The drawing area presents the information for the construction project, such as the floor plan, elevations of the building, the section, and the details. 
This is the drawing area right here. We have our title block, our border, drawing area. Now we're going to discuss the revision block. A revision block is located in the drawing area, usually in the lower right hand corner or near it. Different companies put the revision block in different places. This block is used to record any changes or revisions to the drawings. Okay, so let's look. Do we see the revision block? This is the revision block. Now we're going to discuss legend. Each line on the construction joint has a specific design and thickness that identifies it. The identification of these lines and symbols are called the legend. So if we look right here, this is the first floor plan we have right here. You see the dark line? This is the existing wall to remain. Wherever you see these dark lines at right here, these are existing walls. These are the ones that stand. Okay, proposed wall, not shaded, unshaded. See these walls right here? These are all proposed walls. New closet right here, butler's corners, the pantry, new pantry. Okay, so let's recap. We have our title block. I'll give you a couple seconds to point to it. Title block. We have our border. The border. We have our drawing area. Right here. We have our revision block. Right here. We have our legend. Right here. And just so you can see, I wanted to include a legend so you could actually see what it looks like. This right here is the legend. It's telling you what the symbols mean that's actually in the drawing.